Hey, how you doing? Right, we're going to take a look at openings and walls. Uh, more specifically, we're going to look at uh, using a curtain wall tool. It's a trick I use to create an opening in the wall. And it works for a bunch of reasons. And I'm sure you can find some reasons why it doesn't work so well. But it works for a bunch of reasons, I think. And I think you might find this useful. Okay, let's go ahead and get, get stuck into it. Okay, this is a new project from Revit's uh, 2024 architectural template, okay? So we'll just work with what we have there. We'll create a wall, and I'll just pick the first one from the list, okay? Uh, whatever the constraints are set at, I'll just draw that there. Escape, escape, okay? Now, if we select that wall, we'll see that it's created in the phase created new construction, okay? I want to change that, actually. I'm going to change that to existing wall, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to put openings in this wall in the new construction phase. Uh, and I want it to, to report as demolished or, or you know, show as a demolition in the existing construction. And the problem I have is if I use the wall opening tool, that doesn't work. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so if I grab the, uh, in the architecture tab, uh, wall, select the wall, just click start and finish point, escape, escape, select the opening. Uh, just change the base offset to zero and let's say the top constraint is two and a half, 2.5 meters. Okay, apply. You'll see it's phase created existing. It defaults to the phase of the wall. Okay, so I'll go to that in 3D. There it is. It's an opening. But if I change my, my view from new construction to existing, it's there in existing. Okay, so it's not, I didn't demolish an opening in the wall. It's, uh, it's just basically created the opening in the existing phase construction. Right, I've just moved that opening to where it should be at the base of the wall. But we could go about this a couple of ways, okay, uh, to get it to work with, with phasing. We could, for instance, we could uh, we could create a door family with no door geometry in it, right? So just the opening, the wall opening cut. We could do the same with a window. But I'm going to show you another way to do it, which I think is controls much better. And I think it might be better for your reporting as well, because you're going to have to go and filter out those openings out of doors and make them openings if you want to schedule them and so on. So I'll show you another way to do it with curtain walls, okay? I think you're gonna like this. Okay, let's just move this guy out of the way a little bit. I'm gonna keep it, but move it out of the way. Just move my opening over there, so we're just leaving it small over there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and create a curtain wall, okay? So in the architecture tab, under wall, we select the drop down menu, and I'll just select wall, and we go to the drop down menu here for wall types. Scroll down to the bottom to curtain walls. We have three types in this template. I'm gonna pick that first from there, curtain wall empty, okay? Now, it's not empty. Um, if it was, that'd be half a job done. What it is, is it, it, it'll have, for panel type, it'll have none. And then uh, it'll just select the default panel, which is a glazed panel, okay? So, oh yeah, I need to change the phase of my 3D view back to new construction. And there it is, okay? So we have a glazed panel, right? Now I'm gonna duplicate uh, that curtain wall type and create one uh, with a void panel, okay? First thing I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna load the void panel into the project. So in my insert tab, I'm going to go to load family, uh, curtain wall panels. So it's for me, it's UK library, uh, curtain wall panels and curtain panel empty. It's the first one. Open. Okay. Escape, escape. All right. Okay. Let's go ahead and create the, the new curtain wall. Okay. So select that curtain wall and create similar. We're going to edit type, duplicate, call it I don't know, curtain um, wall. Uh, opening okay right a few little things we need to do here and there's not much actually first thing is automatically embed that's the crucial bit okay so take that which means that when you draw this inside the wall it'll join or cut out of the wall automatically and that's what you want okay uh, curtain panel as i said is set to none but it's not really none it's the default one so we need to select to drop down there and scroll down near the bottom and find the, the empty panel that we loaded okay so there it is curtain panel empty join condition to not find that's fine uh we got layout none i'm going to change these to fixed distance okay so that's the, the distance between the, the grid lines uh because i don't it doesn't really matter but i don't want any okay so it's would want it to be one panel so i'll say fixed distance and i'll just put in uh sorry not fixed number fixed uh, fixed distance and i'll put in a big number let's say 10 meters uh so that make sure that there's no uh layout fixed distance again same thing 10 meters so there's no grid lines, okay? 
So just to rehash that, okay, I duplicated the curtain wall family and renamed the curtain wall opening. Uh, I'm going to leave the exterior function, but that can change depending on whether it's for internal or external walls. Uh, tick automatically embed. I changed the curtain panel to the curtain panel empty. Okay, so we had to load that in. All right, join condition not defined. It's fine. Uh, I changed the layout to fixed distance, and I just picked a big number because basically that's the layout of the, the the vertical grid there, and I don't want any vertical grids, so I just made it a big distance so there's 10 meters between them, so there's just none. Okay, I did the same with the horizontal grid. Okay, so 10 meters just random number, so there's none. Uh, it just for onion size, you can take that on or off for either. It doesn't matter. Uh, what else? That's it. Okay, the rest we control when we place the curtain wall. Okay, so okay. Now just click somewhere inside the wall, find the, the, the center point of the wall. Click, oh, before you do that, by the way, sorry, you can check your, your parameters here. We could, we could do a base offset or connected height, all that stuff. Then just click into the wall, drag across, and escape. Okay, it's showing the opening in the wall, the demolition uh, of the, the, the wall, I should say, as a dashed line. That's, a, that's an override from uh, the phase controls. So if I go to the view settings and go down to phase filter, show all, I'll just show that maybe to show complete. Okay, so now it's not showing that what's demolished. Uh, and here we have, there's an opening from the curtain wall and an opening from the uh, wall opening. Okay, so if we go to 3D, you see that that curtain wall, which you can adjust, as I said, I'll just bring that down to 2500 as well, okay? Uh, it's showing the demolition in this phase filter, okay? Uh, showing what's demolished out of the wall in your construction is red. So if I just change the... Uh, view settings to from show all to show complete the same thing it'll just show the opening okay so if we go to uh, existing the the opening's not there that's the point okay so the wall is intact for the existing construction it uh, shows as demolished if you turn that uh, filter on and we have an opening that we can very easily control it's uh, you select it you pull and push uh, by the way, I didn't show you when I was placing that wall, uh, just create similar. I had the join status set to disallow. Don't necessarily need that, but you might find that actually that's useful if there's you know intersecting walls that they, they can misbehave, you know. Well, that's it. <laughs> that's all folks. I hope you found that useful. Uh, maybe it's something you haven't thought of before. Uh, if you did find it useful, as always, please click like, let me know, send a comment in suggestion thoughts whatever and if you haven't already done it click the thingy jig the yoke me bob and uh, subscribe to the channel all right guys see you in the next one okay bye